The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Thursday morning, just after 9 a.m. Eastern time. We got some fireworks. Speaking of July 4th to the downside, we got some fireworks with jobs added. ADP, private payrolls, almost 500,000 jobs added in the market. A little bit skittish that we might have higher rates coming down if this economy stays as hot as it is. We get the markets right now down, approaching 1% on the S&Ps, negative by about 38 points right now, 44, 45 in the S&P is down about 8 tenths percent. NASDAQ 100, we're down about 1.1 percent. You're off 163 points. You're 240 points off of the highs we had early yesterday. NASDAQ 100 off just more than a percent. You got the Dow right now off 275 points, 34,236. You're off 8 tenths percent. And the Russell off about 1 to 1, excuse me, 1 percent as well. So you got the S&P. And the Dow off about eight tenths percent. You have the NASDAQ 100 and the Russell off about one percent. We jump over to crude. Crude right now sitting at about 71.61. We jump to, let's jump to the dollar index before we jump around because we're going to have some action in dollar. We're going to have some action in yield. Dollar index, we were at 103.45 about midnight last night. You make it all the way to 102 and change and boom just like that we get a stronger dollar. We got higher yields this morning. I jumped to the dollar first before we got to yields. You jump over to the yields. The 10-year dropping like a rock, man. And what are we at right now? We're going to jump to some of the yields conversation because it's going to be a wild one. When, man, we get non-farm payrolls tomorrow, and we got the 10-year back above 4%, 4.04%. The yield on the 10-year, man, wild stuff happening in this market, right? You take a look at it on the daily, and yeah, you're right back to where you were in March, and on a price level, you're within a stone's throw of the actual lows that you had back there in October. Remarkable action as we got higher yields across the board with the 10-year above 4% right now. Back to a short-term time frame. There's your drop, man, on that number. We dropped basically almost a full point, a little bit less than that. But you're talking about trading at 111.06 at 8 this morning, and you went down to 110.12. So six ticks shy of a full point drop in the 10 year just like that we jump to the 30 year you're down a full point and four ticks right now 124.04 you jump over to the gold contract we got a stronger dollar with higher yields that's going to push the gold contract lower there's your drop from 1935 to 1912 we we're at 1942 yesterday in the price of gold you jump to silver right now silver dropping as well stronger dollar right going to hurt the price of commodities as you got 22.96 on the price of silver right now drops from about 23.40 and let's get into it man you talk about a jobs number 500,000 jobs added ADP report on payroll show a broad increase in hiring in June initial jobless claims edged higher last week but remain low and yeah ADP versus non-farm payrolls that's going to be the conversation man going to be interesting to see the numbers that we get 8 30 a.m tomorrow now I was listening to Bloomberg earlier this morning they're talking about this number a bit and you have a couple things going on here that's interesting number one you have the Juneteenth holiday in June okay so in terms of seasonality in terms of adjustments for how that plays out it's a pretty new holiday so they're not exactly sure how that impacts the hiring the seasonality adjustments, et cetera. And it'd be interesting to see if ADP versus non-farm payrolls and how those get adjusted. So you could see a little bit of a different. We've seen these vary before, okay, in terms of the divergence that you get sometimes from a big number posted on ADP prior to the non-farm payroll number. But the expectation was 225,000 jobs, folks. And we added more in leisure and hospitality alone. Then the whole number construction was at almost 100,000 trade transportation utilities. You see the numbers here at almost 100,000 education and health 74 natural resources and mining at 69 on the decline professional and business just off 5,000 financial off 16 information off 30 and manufacturing off 42 every region but the south added jobs. What's going on in the south man uh, employment gains are concentrated in, fir in firms with fewer than 250 employees, right? Small businesses, 
pretty remarkable. When you look at wages, okay, big number still. Workers who stayed in their jobs, 6.4% pay increase in June from a year ago. For those who changed, you're looking at about 11.2%, the slowest pace since 2001. That would be the one highlight for inflation here. That would. And I imagine these numbers are going to continue to, to decline because I wonder how many of those raises had already taken place, right? These are year-over-year -year numbers, but I wonder how many of those raises actually took place in June, right? Or took place in uh, May, June, versus getting a raise six months ago, even three months ago, to catch up with some of those prices that are rising higher, et cetera. Uh, nonetheless, those numbers used to be at about 7% and 14%. So you're now talking about if you're changing jobs, the number's all the way down to 11. And if you're staying 6.4, still some big numbers, man. You're adding 500,000. That is a big number to say the least. But the biggest number awaits tomorrow. Non-farm payrolls, 8.30 a.m., put it on your calendar. But today's going to be an interesting one, man. The way we got yields moving right now, the way we got markets moving with the S&P off by 40 points, uh, you might get a little bit of a recalibration of risk right now in terms of where the Fed may be going. We have a Fed meeting less than three weeks away, folks. Less than three weeks away. Yeah, 20 days, July 26th. We get a Fed meeting. We get those non-farm payroll numbers tomorrow. Uh, so it's coming at you. It's coming at you fast and furious. And boy, uh, we are at some lofty numbers in this S&P. 4444, put that one up there. All right, what else do we have? We had uh, initial jobless claims rising by about 12,250,000 claims. Continuing claims falling to 1.7 million, a four-month low. Pretty remarkable, right? So we have continuing unemployment claims, a four-month low. Private payrolls just added 500,000 jobs. Wages are still increasing at lofty levels, even if the lowest since 2001, when you're dealing with 6 to 7% by staying in the same job and you're dealing with 11% change in jobs year over year. Pretty remarkable. Uh, few sectors shed jobs, as they talk about there, including manufacturing, information, and financial activities. Job cuts, as measured by one firm, fell to nearly half of their May levels. So job cuts already falling in June versus May, though from a year earlier, cuts still 25% higher. Well, folks... A year ago in June, we weren't seeing any cuts. So I always say percentages on small numbers can be deceiving. So a 25% hike in terms of cuts versus a year ago, yeah. But as they say, the monthly jobs report from the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, that's going to be out tomorrow. We're going to talk about that. also includes government payrolls. It's going to provide further insight into the direction of the labor market is headed. That number tomorrow, looking for about 225,000 jobs. Yeah, it's going to be a wild one, man. We jump to some of the yields on that number. Two-year yields, above 5%. 10-year yields, above 4%. Nearing the 2023 highs. Uh, boy, you got some lofty yields, man. The two years at 5.04. That was only at 5.08 in March, so we're right back there. It was all the way back to 3.5% later that month, right? When the banking crisis really hit. And that's where, man, crisis is opportunity, right? What is that? I mean, Ed Young used to say that all on back in the day, right? Isn't that? I should know, man. Was it, is it Chinese or Japanese? I think it's Japanese. Same symbol. I'll have to look that one up. Maybe somebody in the den can help me out. I think it's the same symbol as crisis is opportunity. And you see it, right? Banking crisis, yields drop to 3.5%. Boom. The two-year, back above 5%. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming back with our man, Kevin Hinks. we got some stuff to talk about this morning. Don't go away. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20 30 or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait. This sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20 30 or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps down about 39 points. All the markets in the red by about a percent right now on those strong ADP jobs numbers. To talk about some of the action this morning, folks, let's jump over to our man Kevin Hicks. Every trading day right here on Tiger TV, the TD Ameritrade Network with Fast Market at 12 noon Eastern time, folks. Kevin Hicks, Tom White, the team, they got an outstanding lineup of guests. They walk you through hypothetical trade setups, talking about options every single day, folks. I've learned so much from watching their program myself. Please check it out at 12 noon. And boy, we got some action this morning. Kevin Hanks, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, a little surprise um, mid-July or early July action in the markets as foreign markets were all lower. That led to our futures being down overnight. A little bit of strong economic data now have yields over 4%. Uh, Lori Logan, uh, head of the Dallas Fed, making some comments here that are extremely hawkish. And so at least to start the day, you've got a VIX now at 15 and a half. You've got markets under pressure, Tommy. Yeah, that VIX. I had pulled up the VIX, Kevin, a minute before. We got a jump yesterday with some negative action to kick off the day. It seems like we get another jump today, uh, approaching almost 16, 15, 60 something. I think I saw the the highs there. And it's pretty interesting, Kevin. And we've talked about this before. We get the non-farm payrolls, as I'm sure you know, tomorrow morning and ADP and the non-farms can deviate occasionally. They can really vary sometimes. So we'll see what we get tomorrow morning. But, boy, this is a lofty number, 500,000. It's pretty interesting, Kevin, that we come in to a Fed that has at least skipped a meeting. And, I mean, the wage number is still in there. They're coming down. I think they said the wage numbers, something like 6.4% if you're staying in the same job year over year for the ADP and 112 I think, something like that if you're changing jobs. Lowest numbers since 2001. But, boy, those are some – pretty lofty numbers when you're adding 500,000 jobs, you're changing jobs, you still got wage growth, and we're still dealing with inflation. Uh, what do you think of the yield conversation? Uh, as we get to that this morning, Kevin, you got two years spiking, you got the 10 year back above 4%. What do you think of that action? Yeah, those numbers you put out for job stayers and job changers are exactly right. 6.4% and 11.2%. Listen, I think some of the data that we got out this morning uh, with the ADP. And again, we have to always say sometimes the correlation between this number and the jobs data is not always perfect, but this still shows a trend. And here's why, Tommy. 
if you break down where the jobs came from, leisure and hospitality once again leading the way with 232,000 jobs. I mean, that is a massive number, but that's the category that's been strong all along in keeping the labor market high. And that's what Lori Logan it, what was making, she made some comments starting about 7.45 Chicago time, 8.45 Eastern. And uh, that's what she was saying. And sure enough, Tommy, leisure and hospitality was strong. You know, if you look at the size of the companies, small companies, 299,000 jobs. That's one to 49. 50 to 499, 183,000 jobs. And large companies, Tommy, lost 8,000 jobs. So, what an in, incredibly interesting uh, turn of events in the labor market. But, you know, Jerome Powell, some of the comments Lori Logan made were as hawkish as I've heard. She would have been, she thinks it would have been appropriate to raise rates in June. And she, she's skeptical about the lags. Remember, a lot of um, what the Fed was talking about after pausing was the lag that they want to see uh, come in. She's skeptical that the lags are going to even work for higher rate hikes. And so she's talking extremely hawkish. And yields now sitting over 4.04%. That's got to have put some pressure on stocks, at least to start the day, Tommy. Yeah, it's wild, man. When I put it, I got it up here on a three-year chart going back on a weekly basis on the Thinkorswim platform, uh, critical areas, as we all know, when you're talking about the, the tenure, back to 110.18 right now. I got a low print last year of a 108 handle in terms of price action on the tenure, but we're right back to near those March lows, man. Pretty wild, back over 4%. The two-year, I saw this morning, Kevin, during the banking crisis, it went from 5% back to 3.5% almost, and boom, just like that, we're back to 5%, so wild stuff. Uh, I wanted to jump to Facebook for a moment if I could. Did you see the action on threads last night? Uh, what do you think of the action on Facebook with maybe getting in a little bit of, of Twitter's business over the weekend? Yeah. Competition, Tommy, competition coming into social media. Meta threads is what they're, they're talking about, and yeah, the sign up has been incredible. Why? Because if you're an Instagram member and that pool of members, they make it incredibly easy to, to, to sign up for threads. And so I think you're seeing a massive move uh, towards Meta. Why? Because, remember, think of all the customers that Meta has and are already comfortable within their Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp universe. And now they're just adding. So Mark, what Mark Zuckerberg has always been best at is taking the competition and attacking them. Remember, Instagram Reels is just a an attack on Snapchat. That's all it really is, right? So Mark Zuckerberg is really good at finding out what the competition has and attacking that competition using his massive pool of subscribers to do that, Tommy. Uh, it's a real competition for Twitter for uh, Blue Sky, which is another thing Jack, backed by Jack Dorsey from Twitter that has, you know, is showing record traffic. So true social, there's a lot of competition now in social media, Tommy. I appreciate the the comments, man. And it is interesting. And I was one of those people last night, man. I'm on Instagram and I hit a few buttons and yeah, I started a Threads account. Why not, man? Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting. You know what else is interesting, man? That meta chart, because we're talking about, I pull it up on the Thinkorswim platform. It's a one-way trip from 88 bucks to pushing 296. Meta, even on a day like today, where we got markets down about 1%, still holding on to some small gains. Uh, with that in mind, Kevin, we got, of course, some big economic numbers, but we're in a little bit of a lull before we kick things off on earnings season yet again. Do you guys have some equities you'll be talking about on Fast Market coming up at 12 today? Yeah, this is a great day to, time of year to do themes, Tommy. And so what we're talking about now is housing. So we'll cover Home Depot. Uh, like Foley will do a presentation on Lowe's and basically Home Depot. And then we'll look at Toll Brothers, one of the nice. home builders. So all things a housing theme today on Fast Market, as, as what Lori Logan just mentioned, housing is showing bottoming and recovering, and that could also work against inflation. So we'll cover Oof. housing today on Fast Market.
Remarkable markets, man. I appreciate you taking the time, as always, on a busy morning, man. And boy, it's always wild when we talk to you on Thursday. It seems like it's going to be months before we talk to you on Tuesday with the amount of action we're going to get. We get non-farm payrolls tomorrow, man. We look forward to talking to you on Tuesday again, and we'll be watching at 12 o'clock today, man. Have a great day, Tommy. You too, Kevin. Folks, check it out. Every trading day, 12 noon Eastern time, right here on Tiger TV from the TD Ameritrade Network, Fast Market, Kevin Hanks, Tom White, the team at TD Ameritrade Network. And I say it every time I talk to Kevin, folks, but I've learned so much watching his program over the years. Even if you don't trade options, check it out. You can learn a tremendous amount about the markets, even if you're just an equities trader, by understanding options, how they're priced, how they move, uh, all of that stuff. So check it out at 12 o'clock, and you heard it. They'll be talking about some good stocks. Home Depot, Lowe's, and then a little Toll Brothers, and yeah, Meta. We'll talk a little bit about threads when we get back as well. Stay tuned. We'll be talking markets, folks. We're going to get the opening bell. Markets down about 1%. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We got MetaShares, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and now threads included in there, trading higher by about 1% on a day where you get the markets getting smacked. Boy, the only thing I'll say is a lot of optimism built into this chart. When you just traded a triple bagger over the period of about eight months on MetaShares, you have basically gotten back their entire collapse 
from January of 2022. Now remember, some of those tech stocks really trading low started peaking into September 21. The market really peaked as we came into the beginning of 2022, right? But some of those FANG stocks in particular had peaks in the middle of 2021. But nonetheless, man, it was big numbers. Found myself signing up last night. And, uh, and yeah, Twitter is in trouble, folks, period. End of story. Uh, Zuckerberg, he's got his first tweet out there in like 12 years. And that's his tweet, a little pun, a little play on uh, a meme of sorts. Elon Musk loves his memes, if you're not familiar. And uh, so Zuckerberg, he planned that one out pretty good. I got a kick out of that last night. Uh, hasn't tweeted in like 11 or 12 years. He throws this, this out there last night. Uh, the point being, guess what? We're watching. We're launching Threads. We're going to be just like Twitter, man. You can use Threads. Why not? If you got a problem with Twitter, and I can't even keep up with the news of Twitter going on right now, folks. In terms of what now they're talking about, you can view 600 posts. You can view 6,000. I don't even know. There were so many headlines in the last week or so for Twitter that I can't even keep track. But they don't really seem like they're great headlines. And listen, growing pain is going to be there. Okay, Musk is playing some type of a long game there he's not playing to turn this thing around in three weeks he knew he was going in there he knew he was probably going to gut at least 75 to 80 percent of the workforce he knew he had to change the culture completely and he knew he had to change the business plan plan completely uh but threads is real man i was in there last night i signed up for it and as kevin laid out the case very well they have the power between and i think they got like 10 million people is that what this headline says no that's the tweet uh Yeah, this is the new Instagram viral. Okay, I think I'll find the article. I'm pretty sure we're up to at least about 10 million signups. It was 2 million signups within the first couple of hours. Musk had a reply, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be interesting nonetheless, but you see how things can change so quickly. And what I always didn't quite understand about Twitter is that it's kind of a deal where like you're, you're first to market. With that, the market's even continuing to roll over. Uh, there's nothing that special about Twitter, right? And, and it's not the same as Facebook or Instagram or, you know, the algorithms or the new content. And this is my opinion, okay? But Twitter is simply a platform to post tweets. And it just so happens that the world wants one place that they can go to find out what everyone's talking about, right? So you need to be the forefront leader. Twitter was, by and far, the forefront leader. And I'm not so sure they're going to be able to maintain it. They probably still are. But, boy, you got people coming for their lunch uh, in quite a big way. And Threads is probably going to be the first real attack, man, in terms of – I mean, there's like – as Kevin mentioned a couple, right? I think there's Blue Sky. Is that the one from Jack Dorsey? I know some of my friends use that. You had to get on a waiting list at some point to use Blue Sky. They have Mastodon, I think, is another one that you can use. The people who are leaving Twitter, they're on Mastodon. It, it's very hard to tap into that market as a newcomer, okay, even with the turmoil going on at Twitter. But, boy, Facebook seems to be capitalizing. We've got the market selling off on the jobs front and inflation front. The only thing I'll say about it, folks, is that, boy, you got a lot of optimism built in, man. We jump over to the Analyze tab. We jump over the fundamentals. You jump down to this company. We're at $753 billion. Uh, and yeah, this company was at like 250 right? What was the low? 220 240 something like that. You were at 80 bucks, 80 140 Yeah, so you were at about $200 billion market cap. And just like that, you're back to 750 or 800 As It seems like they've righted the ship, right? Looks like Musk is not going to spend all their money on the metaverse just yet. It looks like they're willing to trim the fat as they've cut jobs. Uh, and and now, yeah, they have new products that they're competing with, and Threads is probably going to be a competition, man, to say the least. I'll see if I can get my account up there later in the, the show just to give you a glimpse. Like I said, there's nothing special about Twitter, right? I think we all know that in terms of the core business. Musk wants to make it the site of all sites, right, the site of everything. You can do everything. They're talking about payment processing. Musk wants it to be one of these apps that dominate Asia where you can do everything, all of it, all in one app. We're seeing how hard that is to play out in real time, folks. So nonetheless, MetaShares, though, flat on quite a day to the downside in the markets. And let's jump back to this S&P and see how we're trading. You put it on a five-minute, 
continuing to drop 4436 in the markets we were at 4465 coming into that number so you drop about 30 points on the jobs number we were already 17 points in the negative and yeah all i'll say is be careful man because boy we got some numbers in yields man now they get a little pop there that might be a bit of a reprieve dollar index pulls back so that's interesting markets continue to drop like a rock right interesting action Let's see where we are in yields again. Yeah, the 10-year, 110.20. There's your two-year action. That's quite a bump for the two-year as well. So yields claw back some of that move. Meanwhile, the market continues to drop, man. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's jump around to some of those commodities real quick. You got gold. Yeah, as the dollar moves, you got gold back to 1917 this morning. And silver recoiling a bit to about 23. Let's check in on some of the FANG stocks as we get some negative market action. Apple shares down about a percent with the market right now to 189. You got Microsoft shares. Yeah, Apple under $3 trillion yet again. They're at a 2.9 handle again. Microsoft down about four tenths percent. They were higher in the pre market. Google shares down 2.1 percent. Watch out on Google, man. I keep saying this one. Folks, there's nothing like YouTube. I say it all the time, but there's also nothing like losing a monopoly. I uh, haven't seen many of those. We rise back to the 618 and we've rolled over a bit. Right at that 618 on Google from 126. We're trading by uh, more negative than the market this morning, down about 2% for Google. Speaking of Mr. Musk, Tesla shares down about 2% as well. We jumped to some of the AI poster boys. NVIDIA down about 1.5%. Boy, we got some lofty runs, man, in some of these equities, right? You check it out. I talked about it before. Apple shares adding like a trillion dollars in market cap this year. Microsoft adding almost that amount itself, $800, $900 billion Microsoft added. Point being, then you jump to NVIDIA, et cetera. Some of the run they said, what is it? The Magnificent Seven, Tesla shares, Meta continuing the run. There is a lot of optimism built into this market right now. You could say Meta living up to it with something like that with threads, et cetera. But boy, we start to really get a rollover, man. We start to really get some conversations of the economy and it doesn't even have to heat back up, folks. And Kevin put it well. Uh, the talk of the lag, right? Remember the talk of transitory because it's somewhat similar. Okay, you had the brightest minds in the world, arguably. I'm sure that can get a few excited out there that don't agree. Uh, but some of the brightest minds in the world in terms of the officials of the Federal Reserve, okay, talking about transitory for the better part of a year turned out to be not a factor. Well, now everyone's talking about lag, right? Sometimes it just doesn't play out like the history books say, man. There are a lot of influences going on. Services are on fire. Uh, I was at the beautiful Vinoy, my dad, over the weekend. And boy, let me tell you, man, ho hotels are always expensive. But it seems like extra pricey uh, in terms of what prices are now, especially when you're talking about services or travel. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait. This sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. 
The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We get the market in negative territory. S&Ps right near the session lows right now. You're off 48 points at 44.36. We get the NASDAQ 100 trading off 190 points. That's one and a quarter percent of the red. 15,170, the Dow off 1.1. And how about the Russell? Off 1.5%. We jump back to yields to see how we're moving right now. The 10-year, a little bit of a recoil, recoil, excuse me, we're still talking about right at about 4%. Let me pull it up, excuse me. Yeah, 4.03 at this number, man. 110.20. The yield on the 10 year as we get the 10 year jumping above 4%. We got the two year at about 5%. You talk about remarkable action, man. And yeah, jump back to the two year, okay? And we put things back on a daily. Let me check it out, right? What a trade if you'd say to yourself, hey, guess what? It's not over yet, man. This banking crisis isn't going to change what's happening, okay? It's not going to get the Fed out of Dodge. That is the banking crisis spiking the two-year up to 104.05. And just like that, folks, we just got below that number. Absolutely remarkable. You talk about the turnaround. That is a move, folks, on the two-year yield from 5% to 3.5% and back to 5% on the two-year as we got higher yields coming down the line. Uh, we have a Fed meeting in 20 days. And yeah, it's going to get interesting, man, as we get some Fed speak as well, as Kevin was mentioning, to kick things off. So it's going to be a wild one. All right. And what else do we have going on, folks? I hope everyone had a good July 4th. Uh, and we got the July 4th sale. This ends tomorrow, folks. Friday, July 7th. That's the last day. Can't believe tomorrow is July 7th already. Uh, we have doubled the normal bonuses that you get with Tiger Dollars. Now, if you're new to TFNN, okay, we do these sales about two times a year. We usually do one in the middle of the year, maybe around July 4th, as we've done previously. And then we usually do one around the holidays, okay? Things change, but that's usually what we do. If you're familiar with it, then you're familiar. You know that's usually how it goes. So the next sale won't be probably until the holidays, if that's what we do. But you can get Tiger Dollars all year round, folks. So current subscribers out there, you don't have to wait six months if you run out your Tiger Dollars. You can always purchase them, okay? They're always available under the services tab. And usually you can get a 10, 15, or a 20% bonus, okay? But for these sales, we double the bonuses. So now you can get a 20, a 30, or a 40% bonus on your purchase. They never expire. They're always available in your account. Once you apply them to your account, they're used automatically on every transaction going forward. So what that means is, you know, if you're on a monthly 
subscription to any newsletter, The Gold Report, Market Insights, Mastering Probability, The Opening Call. Every month, those Tiger Dollars are automatically deducted instead of your credit card for your payment for your monthly subscription if you're on a six month, if you're on a yearly. Uh, let's say you're on a yearly. If, you, if you're on a yearly, and let's say you have 500 Tiger Dollars, you have 600 Tiger Dollars, you have 800 Tiger Dollars, and you have a yearly charge coming up for a newsletter that's a little bit more than that, the system automatically applies all of your Tiger Dollars first, and then the remainder uses your credit card. So that is automatically used up. You lose no value on those Tiger Dollars, okay? And you can get a 20, 30, or 40% bonus on your purchase. And yeah, you're either talking about you spend 500, you get 600 Tiger Dollars, that's a $100 bonus or 20% on what you spend. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300 Tiger Dollars, that's a 300 Tiger Dollar bonus or 30%. If you spend 1,500, you get 2,100 Tiger Dollars, that's 600 Tiger Dollar bonus, 40% uh, on your purchase. And yeah, like I said, they never expire. The sale runs through tomorrow. And uh, you also get a TFNN mug. I got to get my TFNN mug. And I'm drinking it all the time around the house. I haven't had it in here the last couple of days. I'm going to get it in there tomorrow for the last day. But, yeah, you will get a TFNN mug mailed to you by the mail as well. But the real value there, folks, tremendous value. If you plan on signing up for anything in the near future, you plan on attending. Uh, I know Larry's already talking about potentially another live trading webinar coming up in August. Um, any of those webinars we do, Basil, Steve, my dad, myself, they can all use Tiger Dollars, every subscription, every service. So please check it out. We do a couple of them a, a year, and this one ends tomorrow, July 7th. July 7th, man. Can you believe we're in July 7th already? Time is just flying, as they say. Uh, and look at these markets continuing to fly right now for sure. s and is down 45. It's going to be an interesting one in terms of how we come in today, how we come into tomorrow's non-farm payroll numbers. And it seems like this market, and I don't want to call it priced for perfection, but boy, it seems pretty close, man, in terms of how you're priced in there when you're sitting at 4,500 from 3,500. And meanwhile, we still got inflation raging, folks. We're still adding 500,000 jobs. Now, you could have things obviously be different for non farm payrolls tomorrow, but I would pay attention to yields. I'd pay attention to the dollar. And no matter what you do, okay? take a look at that two-year okay yeah we have a little bit of a recoil but folks since about may 4th okay we had a double bagger here in terms of one acceleration from may 4th to may 26th that was a move from about 103.25 we'll call it down to about 102 so almost two full points and then what did we just get we just got a move of about two full points again so maybe that's your a to b c to d projection that brings you right down to the low so we'll see where you go it's going to be a critical area man we get some critical data tomorrow with the non-farm payrolls make sure here excuse me one second okay wanted to make sure my screens were still up uh yeah so it is a wild one to say the least all right let's jump around to some of the other equities with news this morning ford Ford's U.S. sales jumped 9.9% on big gains for its F-Series trucks. Uh, quite a number, man. They reported sales of 531,000 vehicles from April through June, up from subdued results a year ago. EV sales during the quarter declining as supplies of the Mach-E were short. going to be interesting, of course, those electric vehicles as well. Ford shares down with the market, down about 1.5% today on that number. Let's check around to some of the airlines. We talk about services, right? Delta a little bit low at the market this morning, down 1.2%. United down as well. We jump to the cruises. Cruise ships, Carnival down 3.3%. Norwegian down 2.5% as well. Airbnb down 3%. Marriott shares down about one3 Let's check out some of the banks this morning. JP Morgan off 1.5%. Bank of America off 2%. It's across the board, man. Wells Fargo off about 1.9%. City off 2.3%. Yeah, going to be tough to find a bid today, man, with this market price for so much optimism. I mean, you think about it, right? Even a, an armed mercenary army munching on Russia couldn't slow this market down, pushing 4,500. But guess what, Mike? Maybe the Fed will. 
as we ramp it back up possibly. Strong numbers from the ADP. We get non-farm payrolls tomorrow. One more segment, folks. Stay tuned. Talk about some of the other equities we got going this morning. We'll be right back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. As we speak, we got markets making new session lows with the S&P off 51 right now, trading at 44.32. You got the Dow off 376, NASDAQ 100 off 216, and we did get a spike to above 16, and the VIX were trading at 15.78. And we got a caller on the line. Is it Fish from Riverview? Good morning. Hey, Tommy. Hey, man. How what's happening? You? Good. Hey, bud. I have a question for you. Um, what's going last on? night on this show, your dad was talking about, um, you know, high volume lows. Okay. And I just wanted to, talking about that on the, maybe you could talk, speak to the SPY or the QQQ, and sure. I'm also looking at SOX S. But my question is, and I'll hang up and listen, um, did we blow through those high volume lows um, with volume, or did we hit and them on volume? Which lows are you talking? It could be a buy. Which That's lows, what day do you, are you looking on a daily? It. Which What are you looking at? Uh, the SPY or the QQQ, maybe? Yeah, and what what low are you looking at? What what number are you looking at? What that, day? That was my question. Um, I don't know which high volume low he was talking about because he was talking about, you know, it could go hit that um, 
high volume low and then and then go up from there but maybe it blew through there and maybe you talked about this earlier i apologize if you did no i didn't i didn't and you know i didn't catch his show yesterday all of it i was traveling a little bit um normally i'm glued to it even with tommy on my back uh but i didn't man so you the, the best thing to do is give him a call if you can this afternoon man even if because i'm not exactly sure what number he was referencing out there um i'm not sure i wouldn't want to jump to it all right but i appreciate the call man thanks bud okay thanks man have a good one Enjoy, yeah, it's a wild market, man. And we got, we got, we got, we got. You wake up some... one day and there'll be thirty. Thank you. Thank, I appreciate it, man. I they, listen. <laughs> that that's that's something everybody should keep track of, man. Time is crazy, folks. Yep. So so enjoy yep. every day for sure. Um, Thanks, there's bud. there's a lot. Thanks so much, fish man. Have a great one. There's there's Thank there's you. so much truth, folks, to you know mindfulness, right? That mindfulness movement. Stay into today because today is all that matters. Tomorrow, when you get to tomorrow, tomorrow will be today. And then you can worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Worry about today, today. Worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Worry about the day after that, the day after that. Right? Stay true, folks. We got Basil up next. We got markets in negative territory. Don't forget about those Tiger dollars. Go check them on the front page. That sale ends tomorrow. See you tomorrow, folks. Have a great